Two men are dead and one in custody after they attempted to rob residents in Cane Heap, St. Mary. As we hear in this report from Cody and Barrett, the robbery went terribly wrong for the criminals when residents took matters into their own hands. It was a wild goose chase in the wee hours of Friday night for residents and police after a group of men entered the community of Cane Heap, St. Mary, attempting to rob residents. According to Police Chief Superintendent Robert Morgan Simpson, about 10.45 p.m., the men went to the home of a mechanic in the Hopewell District to seek help to fix a vehicle. In the act of assisting them to fix their vehicle, they would have attacked him and he was stabbed all over his body. He managed to escape the men and he ran into nearby bushes. The men made their getaway in the motor car that they were trying to fix. It's understood that the son of the injured mechanic quickly got into his motor vehicle and pursued the men. He ran his vehicle into the back of the getaway car, damaging it and preventing the assailants from escaping. The police were then called. The men of one the police ran into nearby bushes. The, the men, in their bid to escape the area, would have gone to a nearby community where they tried to steal a Toyota Axio motor car from a resident there. Residents were alerted and the men ran from the scene. One resident said he knew something was wrong when he saw three strange men running in his direction. So no bother with the phone, I'm rob, not turn this way. Residents then came together to search the area, and when they found the men, they went on the attack. The men ran into the riverbed, where they were set upon by the residents, and they were chopped. Two died, the other was apprehended, and he was handed over to the police, and he is now in custody at the Richmond Station. He's been questioned. Upon further investigations, police discovered that the motor car which the men were seeking help to fix is a stolen vehicle from Kingston. Investigations are ongoing, but police believe two more men were involved. Cody and Barrett, TVJ News.